Hey everybody, I'm Ken and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I want to show you how to make a super easy and absolutely delicious Greek dish called spanakorizo. Spanakorizo literally means spinach and rice and that's exactly what this dish is in a very light tomato sauce that's done in one pot and it's super easy and delicious, nutritious and I'm going to show you how to make that right now. So to start our recipe off, I've got my element going to a medium high and first thing we're going to do is slice up an onion you can chop it up if you like but you don't absolutely need to and it's super easy just to do it like that it actually adds texture to the dish all right our onion is chopped ready to go our element is preheating i'm going to add about three four tablespoons of my greek extra virgin olive oil into this and move our onions into our pot. The next thing we're going to add is a little bit of salt, usually about a teaspoon to a teaspoon and a half for this, but you can put in as much or as little as you like as per usual. Some fresh cracked black pepper will go into this as well. Perfect. And give that just a quick at this point just to stop the onion from sticking on the bottom next thing a little garlic throw in about a couple of cloves of garlic I'm using the pre min stuff lazy gourmet one of my favorite smells in the kitchen is actually the smell of browning garlic with onion just amazing so we're going to let that go for about three or four minutes. Let the onions get happy with the garlic and kind of start their caramelization process. So it's been about five minutes. Our onions are looking fantastic. The garlic is starting to actually get done. You don't want to burn the garlic at this stage. You just want to kind of bring it to that golden kind of color. The next step in this is about a tablespoon or so of tomato paste. Perfect. Easy, just like that. And give that a quick stir as well. The heat from the pot will actually start liquefying it and kind of loosening it up so your tomato paste will actually spread around. And this won't take long at all. This will take maybe a minute, minute and a half. That's perfect right there. All right. Now, the next part of this is one of the lead characters in our story, which is spinach. I use frozen spinach in this case. My garden spinach isn't ready yet, but frozen works just fine. In this case, I'm using 300 grams of frozen spinach, which is the equivalent of about a pound of fresh spinach. I know a pound sounds like a lot, but it really isn't because once it wilts down, it wilts down into nothing. So I'm going to add my spinach in here along with the spinach juice that thawed with it and give that a quick stir. Now the next part of this is our rice. For this I'm using one cup of rice. Usually one cup with 300 grams of spinach will do two main courses or four side courses of this. And this is amazing. You can serve this on its own or you can serve this as a side with fish, with meat, anything at all totally works with this. It's one of these simple recipes that you can add anywhere and it kicks up a meal as well. So now that our rice is in, I'm going to add the equivalent of about three cups of water. You don't need to add a ton of water to this only because as it cooks down, you want it to tighten up. This isn't meant to be soupy, it's actually meant to be pretty thick you should be able to eat this with a fork if it's the right consistency so our spanakorizo is ready to go I'm gonna bring this up to a boil and once it's up to a boil I'm gonna reduce the heat cover it and simmer it for about 20 to 25 minutes and you're ready to go 